it is time to do a market update for Panama City Beach, Florida. And I thought, uh, what better than just to sit out here on the balcony on a beautiful day <laughs> in Panama City Beach and have you uh, stare at the water and give you some information about what the market's been doing. So just kind of an overall feel. You know, there's still a lot of people out there that are sitting off to the sidelines because of interest rates. They're not moving forward with making a purchase. And I understand the concerns. I understand what they're thinking. But here's the way I look at it. If you're buying as an investment property, uh, the, the biggest thing is to make sure that you have cash flow, that you have a return on your investment. And believe it or not, people are still making a return on their investment. I know for me personally, my husband and I have purchased three single family homes in the past four months to use as long term rentals in town. And we have leases on all of them. We have renters in them. And it's been um, great for us because, you know, while there's still people waiting on the sidelines and scared to jump in, we were able to get in there and negotiate a great price and terms and not have to fight a bunch of people for the property. So, hey, if you guys want to sell to the sidelines, that's fine, but I'm going to keep buying property. My buyers are buying properties. I've actually been busier uh, than this time last year, and I was swamped last year. So I've actually had, I think I'm up to about $6 million in sales between January and, and April. So I'm not slowing down. If anything, I've gotten busier and busier because people are taking advantage of, of this period of time and having more properties to see because things are staying on the, on the market longer. So I normally don't do like statistics and such because I don't know, it, it, I just have a better vibe and a better feel for what's going on. But I did want to do some statistics this time because I think it's really important to show what's really going on in this market and how if you don't start thinking about buying now, you may be in the same situation as we were in the past couple years. So I'm gonna put on my glasses <laughs> so I can look extra studious because I have to actually look at my papers for this. This is what I found very, very interesting. So I pulled this report today for February and March of this year. Now we're gonna talk about Panama City Beach specifically. So in February, there were 118 properties sold across the entire beach, all different type of properties, price range, yada, yada. In March, 295, 118 to 295, okay? Next thing, pricing. Pricing is starting to move up a smidge from where it was because when interest rates went up, prices stalled, which was great for people who wanted to get in there and buy, but then, uh, if they, some came down and some did settle down, but then uh, now we're starting to see a little bit of an increase in that pricing happening. Uh, sales price to list price, sold price to list price, meaning what percentage from the, what they listed it at did it sell for. And it's moved up slightly a little bit too. So in February, the property sold for 96% of what it listed for, and in March, 97% of what it listed for. So if you have your property priced correctly, priced right, then it's going to sell and you're gonna, you're gonna get pretty much your full value for it. Now there are some still old properties on the market that people have had um, sitting around since before the rates changed and they haven't adjusted their pricing. Well, they're just gonna keep sitting because as some new properties are coming on the market, um, they're more in line with today's pricing, right? More balanced pricing is what we call it. Okay. Days on market, this is a big one. So days on market, how long it took a property to sell on average in February was 62 days, okay? Now, of course, the last couple years before that, it was like negative two days. <laughs> they were being snapped up like that. March, that dropped to 45 days. So business is picking up for sure. Properties are not staying on the market as long as they were before. This is another big telling, telling time right here. You had months of inventory so that is if nothing else came on the market today how many months would it take before what's on the market now would all be gone in february there was 5.8 months of inventory so almost six months of inventory now for march 3.4 so close to almost half 3.4 that's now we're leaning back towards the seller market buyer's market is about six months and more sellers market is in the the two months range or or less typically 
And then sold volume is a huge one too. My hair is not doing well out here in this, but I'm still enjoying it out here. So you guys just have to deal with it. <laughs> All right, sold, sold volume. So sold volume, that's total dollars sold in February was $92 million. It's a lot, right? It's a lot. But guess what it was in March? 166. 166. So we got, we got solds moving up. We've got pricing edging up a little bit. We've got days on market dropping. We got all the indicators that we have a very healthy market in our area. That we are moving inventory, we are selling properties, and people are still buying. And I know for me, I've been running around like crazy, showing properties and closing properties and listing properties. So um, it's 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 been that I, I'm seeing that for myself firsthand. Okay, so let's break it down like this because it's another interesting statistic I want you to know. So we're talking about condos only. So if you're an investment buyer, you're looking to buy like a gold front condo or anything that's classified condo, that can also be building across the street from the beach, but condo classified. There's only 472 units on the market at this time. That's all price ranges, everything from a studio up to a four bedroom, the whole shebang. Now, 472 may sound like a lot, but I'm gonna put that in perspective for you. We have 10,581 units between all of those buildings okay somebody can do the math and tell me the percentage because i didn't do it but if there's only 472 now narrow that down a little bit more and there's only 263 units priced under 500,000 across the beach 263 okay now i i will tell you that off the top i i would probably eliminate a certain percentage of those buildings or certain buildings i'm not going to say the names on on film but uh call me and i'll tell you that have bulk inventory 40 50 listings that they're they're that way for a reason okay so really when we narrow that down there's even less than that of like i'd say like good really really desirable property and then if you're looking to purchase something under three hundred thousand, which has always been a challenging price point in our market there's 51 options, 51 properties on the market, which I can tell you is a lot more, a lot more than there has been uh, for the past previous years in our market. So there is options for everybody, but those options are starting to dissipate. The other thing we anticipate happening is that as we're moving into high season for making your rental income, a lot of sellers will be holding onto their property and not looking to list it because they're gonna quite frankly make a lot of money coming up, right? And so then they may want to list after Labor Day. Well, that makes it a little bit more challenging because if you're buying after Labor Day, then um, you're gonna be in the low season, which is fine. You'll still get some renters and you may get some snowbirds, folks that come down here and stay for two, three months, but you won't have the, you won't get advantage of the peak season until you know next year, right? So the best thing to do if you're looking for investment now is get your booty here so we can find something so you can have the best opportunity to capture income this season and start growing your business for that um, off season time and that snowbird time as well. Um, and if you can't come, that's fine too. I'll get out there, look at the units myself, give you my feedback, send you videos, the whole nine yards. So that's the statistics. Very similar statistics in Panama City in town, um, where you've got the same kind of numbers happening. You've got you know more sales, you've got prices going up a little bit, less days on market, sold by the whole nine yards. So we're seeing that not only on the beach side, but in town as well, which is primarily single family homes. People live, live, live. Well, we live out on the beach too. I live on the beach. But you know, we do a lot of condos out here too. So. That is your report. That is your Panama City Beach market report for the months of February and March. Uh, April is looking to be a very, very busy month as well. And uh, we have people out here still vacationing and, and enjoying everything that Panama City Beach has to offer. So you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. If you're looking to, let me take these off now. <laughs> if you're looking to uh, start your search, 
go check out my website. It's going to be on the next screen. You can actually search by price point. You can look at certain buildings. I've got a lot of videos on there about the grounds and, and condo units and things like that. And then make sure if you're finding me on YouTube that you check out all of my series about you know, buying investment property, from financing to insurance to management companies, the whole nine yards. And then also check out my buyer series, which will walk you through the process of how do you actually purchase uh, a property in our area. So feel free to reach out. Thanks for sticking with me. Hopefully you watched the whole, <laughs> the whole video. Maybe the, maybe what's behind me uh, captured your attention and kept you with me. So uh, please, please, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a call if you have any questions. Love to help you. Have a great day. Bye.